Hey YouTube, this is Candy's Kai here coming at you with another video. I'm happy today as I'm out here at the new video. I said this week I'm uploading. Well, I missed Monday. And guess what? Two videos today. So without further ado, let's just get into this video. So, what the chapter review is, it's called chapter 225. And then, so basically the area and setting in this chapter is Dekia City. And it's controlled by the Liberation Army. So right now the League of Villains are there. And then here we roll in this chapter. Um, the metal leaders, and they kind of discuss how the League of Villains don't bring any Namus with them. Remember, a Namu is what All Might fought during, um, uh, during whenever, um, Class 1A was training. You know, like, way beginning in this series. So, the three reasons a leader, metal liberation army leader gives is, one, ever since the Kamino incident, so ever since that incident, Two, about the high um, speed Namu in um, Kisuya. I don't know if I said that wrong. So they don't have that either. And three, Dobby said retrieving the black. Um, so another operational Namu. So like, basically, League of Villains can't pull a Namu out of their ass as of right now. So that's what they're that's what they're saying. Um, <clears throat> that Namus are basically made from awful ones. So. Basically, the league without a Namu is just a bunch of group of delinquents. So, the Metal Liberation Army is kind of making fun of the League of Villains right now. So, they're currently fighting soldiers of the army. Um, you know, these, these soldiers, they, they're not pushovers. You no, know, these soldiers are trained in that city, you know. Um, and, of course, Spinner backs it up. You know, Spinner's like the reptile dude. He's basically, he says they're strong to back up what I just said. Then... Kizuki says, forging bodies and souls for the sake of living. So, like, she was talking about her soldiers. Um, she's, um, a Metal Liberation Army leader as well. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Toga disappears. So, like, whenever, she, um, Kizuki confronts Toga, she disappears. And then, like, kills soldiers with her quirk. And then... She goes for, um, Kizuki Airborne with a knife. So, here's Kizuki, here's, um... Toga, she has her knife, but like, I mean, it turns out that um, Kizuki's um, quirk is a landmine. Anything she touches turns into mines, basically. That's basically the gist of it. And then um, Toga was thrown into. So hey, it's back to what I was saying. So um, after Toga is thrown into the building and. Um, the soldiers eventually do capture her, and remember, they are trained. And the blood she absorbed from them, um, well, they, in terms of the blood that she absorbed from them exploded, because they're basically made of bombs or landmines. And then, um, uh, Kizuki also realized that she can, um, she can also, um, Token can also blend in with the, um, surroundings around her. Um... Like I said before, you know, Kizuki reveals that the soldiers are made of arms, so, you know, Toga kind of goes kaboom a little bit. And, um, and it's also revealed that Toga's the eldest daughter of the Toga family. Um, she's age 17 and disappeared from her middle school graduation. Um, and, like, Kizuki's like, why did you lead to a life of madness? You know? It kind of, like, Toga kind of, like, it's like, she, like, gives, like, her evil freaking smile, and, like, she's like, what is a normal life, anyway? So, these people, Kizuki and Toga, they're both psychopathics, okay? They're women. They're, they're, they're both psychopathics, okay? So, that's basically all that happened in this chapter. No, nothing really too much. Um, just the Metal Liberation Army, um, leaders talking about Namus, talking about the League of Villains, Kizuki and Toga have a dialogue scene, and they kind of fight. Toga kind of gets damaged because the soldier are made of bombs. And basically, that's all that happened for this chapter. You know, nothing really too much. So let me know what you thought of the video. If you like to hit the like button. If you just like to hit the dislike button. It doesn't really matter to me. Hit that subscribe button for more content like this. And hit that gray bell to be notified when I make new videos. I'm signing out.